How is this school of healing? How is this class? Should we need to take some testimonies about it? One has a few. We were asking the form force that we were giving certificate to that Dubai you when you are to testify. We began hearing that uh, so many things that we never thought is happening. Uh, I know the word of God does a lot. Chapter 19 of the book of Acts. Let's look at chapter number 19 of the book of Acts. Let me just begin from verse 1, but I will be speaking specifically from verse 8. Uh -huh. We can say something as we begin. Kevin, you might need to take care of this camera. I'm looking at its appearance. Amen. Can we make this confession? God's word is my reality. I am a living proof. I am a living proof. That the word of God works because it produces life, wholeness, and soundness in my, in my spirit. And soundness in my spirit. It is it's transforming power makes my life beautiful and causes my health to flourish in ever increasing beauty father i thank you for my life which is preserved in christ i enjoy good health daily because christ is alive in me my body is not subject to any form of disease or infirmity. Nothing negative or destructive can dominate my life because the word of God has dominion here. The word of God has dominion here. Amen. I am alive in Christ. I am alive in Christ. I am born of God. I am born of God. Therefore, Therefore I, live in victory I live in victory and dominion, and dominion over sickness and disease. Over sickness. I glorify God in my body, I glorify God in my body. and in my, in my spirit with health and wholeness. Health and, wholeness. And, nothing and nothing in me is sickable or prone to death. Prone to death. Praise God. <laughs> Amen. Nothing in me is sickable. <laughs> no organs of my body is sickable. You know what sickable is? Something that can be sick. Hmm? My hand cannot be sickable. My eyes cannot be. You are hearing Mary. <laughs> I will not. Uh, I will not be gongi. I'm saying my eyes is not sickable. <laughs> I think uh, patience is also hearing. I'm hoping that one is for beauty, that specs. It's not because there's a problem in your eyes. Amen. Don't own problems. When you don't have specs in Baka, when I can't find you, specs. So, come and see, I'm going to see that too. I see that now. I'm going to see that too. I see that now. Amen. No matter how many can be seen as And the Bible says, and it came to pass that while Apollos Apollo was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper coasts, came to Ephesus and finding certain disciples. Now, chapter 18 of the book of Acts, it is concluding with Apollos are teaching people diligently. He's a teacher of the word of God. 
but not filled with the spirit that's the challenge with him he can teach very diligently but the holy spirit now the disciples that we are going to see here that uh, we have just read in verse 1 paul it's like apollo stopped and then paul came and it came to pass that while apollos was at corinth paul having passed through the upper coast came to ephesus and finding certain disciples these disciples were being taught by who apollos and when paul came he asked some question here verse 2 he said unto them have you received the holy ghost since you believed and they said unto him we have not so much as had whether there be any holy ghost <laughs> they are born again they believed in jesus but they're not filled with the holy spirit so paul came this is now where we are going to see uh this is the genesis of verse 8 because paul went and began a class just like this kind of class that we have and the class he began with these disciples that have already been made by apollos they were not filled with the holy spirit verse 3 says and he said unto them and to what then were you baptized? And he said unto John's baptism. Then he said, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him. That is on Christ. When they had, when they had this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them and they spake with thanks and prophesied and all the men were about 12 so he had 12 disciples that this man was teaching the man is called Paul no sorry Apollos when he came he prayed for them and they were baptized with the Holy Spirit baptized with the Holy Spirit then from there we see there are many 20 disciples made by Apollos Apollos now has taught them in Ephesus and he left for Corinth he's also just moving just like some of us sometimes are taught by one person and next another person is taking over all of us have been how, in my, how many hands did you pass by the time you reached here. <laughs> From the day you are born. How many people have taught you? <laughs> All of us go through so many hands. 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 Yeah. So now, at last, Apollos began something. And Paul is taking to the next level. Paul has higher revelation, understanding. The, the work of the spirit the working of the holy spirit in him is so much so apollos is just somebody you just uh you studied something about the scriptures but he's not filled with the holy spirit now at some point i know you will see how aquila and priscilla i don't know why their name is ending with la all of them aquila and Priscilla, those are a couple. These, these are a couple that at last began working with Paul. They, they began teaching Apollos because Paul has taught them. May you have ability to teach others in Jesus' name. No, you cannot just receive. You need also to know how to pass on. Amen. Anybody who is around Paul becomes a minister. Anybody. I don't know what I'm doing here. Am I any making anybody a minister? Is the anointing passing over to you in Jesus' name? Yes, you, you must come to that point. When 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 they met with Abraham is becoming a pastor. Abraham, I think you're a pastor. I'm not the one who said it. These days he's preaching on Facebook. It's very serious. This morning I was just listening to him. He's just telling people how if you are unserious with the word of God, you are in trouble. 
Praise the Lord. I don't know if you see something. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> some people here are not going that route, but this man is always something is driving him. <laughs> I will send you to Bubisa. <laughs> you go and shake that Bube. <laughs> the word Bubisa comes from your wind and Jaina. That is called Bupe in Kiborana. So it's called Bupisa. So yeah, you can go and deal with it. So we are saying uh, Paul is taking to the next level what Apollo began. I know many of us also have sat somewhere and been taught the word of God. But now that you've came here, in fact, many of you when you came here, uh, just like Paul, I'm taking you to the next to the next level. You're getting more. You're getting more. So what happened next? We read, we read here in verse 8. And he went into the synagogue and spoke boldly for the space of three months. How many months? Three months. He went to the synagogue. Just a church like this. Disputing and persuading the things concerning the kingdom of God. He is talking to the priests. Died and they about the priesthood, the altar, the Levitical priesthood. And people are still there. Ah, uh, thank you. So they, they were still continuing with the Old Testament thing in the synagogue. But Jesus died on the cross and abolished all the thing about the law of Moses. Much of it. When Paul came in, he told them, please, Jesus fulfilled this. Why it still in the Old Testament? Three months. Jews. He was sent to the Gentiles. So the Bible here says, look at the way he leaves that place, cursing them. But when divers or why but when many were hardened and believed not, but respect evil of the way before the multitude, he departed from them and separated the disciples disputing daily in the school of one tyrant. He left them after three months of zero work. Why do you go to a place God has not sent you? They refused. In fact, they, they began speaking evil against what he's teaching. So he left them that were against him and do not receive what he has. And the Bible says he, he remained with the few. He says, and separated the disciples disputing them disputing daily in the school of one tyrants so he sat them in a class and he taught them this is a new city he has just come in this is how the church at Ephesus begins now the one that now finally he met Paul so the Timothy the, the pastor he taught a space of around two years, two or three years. Yeah, two years. He continued in that teaching for how many years? Two years. You see, as we go down, he took those disciples that were ready to hear what he has to offer and learn. He took them aside, he put them somewhere. He taught, the Bible says. That is how this ministry began in Ephesus. And this continued by the space of two years so that all they which dwelt in Asia heard the word of the Lord Jesus, both Jews and Greeks. In a space of two years. He's teaching daily. Daily. You see daily? Daily. For how many years? If you if you go back to how the churches meet these days, if you meet two years, 
weekly how many days are those 52 times 2 104 what about if you're meeting daily for 365 days 365 times 2 Mathematician, some are going to them. Hmm? <laughs> seven thirty. Paul is meeting with them seven thirty times, and in Mars Abitia, people meet one hundred times, one hundred days. How much impact will be there? You see how much we lose when we meet less. For two years. What is the result? And the Bible says, So that all they which dwelt in Asia had the word of the Lord Jesus, both Jews and Greeks. How in two years can you reach the whole area? And there was no internet. Was there internet? People were bringing others. This gospel spreads praise the Lord I think we need to how can we I'm praying that we can rise to that level where we are going to affect the whole area I mean the whole area not just this town is too small we'll deal with it just give us some two three years then it will hit other areas this goes has ability to spread and turn the lives of people around. One man, we are not hearing of any other preacher there now. We know the synagogues are still there. Because many people are leaving the synagogues and coming to this life that is being given there. In a space of two years, the Bible says, all they which dwell in Asia had the word of the Lord Jesus, both Jews and Greeks. The Bible says, and God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul. The word of God is the source of miracle signs and wonders. The word of the word of God that is taught every day. The more you are taught every day. And send the word of God is taught. What happens? What happens is whatever God has is created in your heart and it naturally becomes a reality. When I stand here and speak about healing, I am creating healing in your body. Not in your body, in your spirit. In your mind. Let me say your mind. Because it's your mind that has to be to, to be. So when this thing you. Even when diseases come, you are already healed. Even before it appears. You are convinced that God gives you whatever he has for you through his word. So when you are receiving the word, you are receiving what God has for you. receive the word, you don't have what God has for you. And this continuous teaching is of great benefit to you. Because it is the possible. It becomes easy for you to believe what God has for you if you are taught. It becomes very very easy. Your life would begin running by the word of God. Otherwise, other things that you have been taught before will be running your life. It is very hard and difficult for people who do not hear the word of God daily to believe in what the word of God says. Why? Six days, they hear lots of what people say. One day, they hear what God says in some few minutes. Even after they leave the church, they're just hearing what people say. 
So what you are filled with is not what God has for you. What you are filled with is the, what is in the environment that fills you. And whatever is in the environment is not of use, not of much benefit to you. It is only what the word of God says or has concerning you that is of help and benefit to you. So when you sit like this and you see the word, you can easily overcome sickness and disease. A mindset is being developed in you. You are lifted far above diseases. You begin looking at it not as something that is powerful. You begin looking at it as something that is defeated. Something that you can easily handle. Something you can easily fix. <laughs> Your mind is being transformed. The more the word of God enters you. In fact, the very day that the word entered you, that's when healing it. That very day. These people sat in chapter number 6 of Mark. Jesus came back to his town after he left for Capernaum. Capernaum is a city that Jesus relocated to after John the Baptist was arrested. And the Bible says when he was arrested, Jesus left. And John was, John was offended. How do you leave me, my friend? I'm arrested. For John, he thought, you know, John, the mistake John made is when Jesus came, his ministry ended. But he was still preaching. <laughs> his ministry ended when Jesus came. He was to make the way for him. See, Jesus arrived, so what is he doing? He continued baptizing. And he began doing the ministry that does not belong to him. ministry of condemnation. <laughs> that was not his business. He began condemning Herod. You took your brother's wife. That is not his work. Jesus left. You know sometimes if you Jesus left. Because <laughs> this man is going in the wrong direction. He, just, he should have become one of the disciples of Jesus. If you are waiting for him and you say he's greater than I, let me reduce him, increase. It's not about talking. You should follow. So when the man began some work that is not part of his assignment, Jesus disappeared. So after he left for Capernaum, Jesus was not offended. Let me say this. If we walk right with God, irrespective of what happens to us, we will not be offended. If you miss doing the right thing, you will always, you'll always be offended. Or even whatever people do. If John could have been doing what he was called to do, he could not be offended in Christ. He was waiting for Jesus to, to save him from the prison. That is not the work of Jesus. Because for him he felt. That's why he asked. After he was put in the prison, he said, the two of his disciples, he said, go and ask, is he the one that you are waiting for? Or wait for another one. <laughs> but who did you introduce? <laughs> Are you the one that they say they say he's coming? It's not they say, not even God say he's coming. <laughs> Look at when you lose network, how you speak. Are you the one that they say he's coming? Or wait for another one? How did Jesus reply? 
wanted him. The blind is seen. The lame are walking. The sick are healed. And then after a day he left, Jesus said, Blessed is you that is not offended in me. Sometimes if people leave the, the, the root that is right as per the word of God, it becomes hard for us to correct. And we cannot tell you because you won't accept. We leave you. You come back after you have been beaten. And you say, I lost them. If I'm standing here and teaching you, and you feel that this, this one does not make much sense, and you go your own way, you'll be beaten, my friend. You'll come back crying. Why did you leave? I didn't leave you there. You know the truth. You left it. Sometimes God leaves you to your ways. And as the book of Proverbs says, sometimes it takes painful experience for us to change our ways. That's what the Bible says in the book of Proverbs. So John, that's the mistake of John. The next thing you should have done is to follow Jesus. His ministry ended when Jesus arrived. But he didn't do that. So after he went to Capernaum and came back to Nazareth. Chapter 6, you read that in Mark. He was doing lots of miracles in Capernaum. But when he came to Nazareth, the Bible says you could not believe in him. He <laughs> tried to pray for the sick. Nobody gets him. Very few of them. Why do you think that was happening? Because he was brought up right before them. They know the kind of food he was eating. They know the kind of dress that he was dressing. You know the clothes he was putting on. They know the kind of shoes that he had. They know how, how we, they were struggling together those years. You know those years? <laughs> they know. They never knew him as somebody who God sent. They knew him as somebody with whom we were brought up. And the Bible says very few miracles happened in that place. Jesus resorted to teaching the word of God. He chose to teach. Because when teaching happens, your heart will be receptive. It receives what the word of God says. When you are taught, teaching makes understanding of the word of God easy. So when you understand the word, you can easily receive what God has for, has for you. So when you are not taught, you are just, you will tell us God is mysterious. God is, God is not mysterious. He is not mysterious. He can make you understand. The Bible says Moses understood the ways of God. But the, the children of Israelites, they just saw the works, the miracles. Moses knew how miracles, he knew how to cause miracles. He knew the ways of God. But the people only saw the miracles that were caused by who? Moses. When you are taught the word of God, you get to understand the ways of God. When you know the ways of God, then it is easy for you. I'm hoping I'm not making a lot of noise. Uh, I am saying the teaching of the word of God makes it clear to you about the ways of the ways when you talk about the ways we are talking about the, the methods that God uses to deliver what he has for us like for example in this case miracles signs and 
wonders miracle signs and wonders is a product of the teaching of the word of God. it is easier for somebody who understands the word of God to be healed than the one that does not understand the word of God. let me also say this everybody that is preaching the word of God is not preaching the word I repeat this everybody that is teaching or preaching the word they, they pick up the Bible they are speaking about the scriptures not the word so the person that will help you also access miracles, saints and wonders is the one that knows the word if a preacher is struggling with some of the problems that the Bible has said has been solved he does not have the word even if he's been preaching for 10 years for 20 years those are the ones that will tell you when somebody dies about because of sickness it is the will of many of us are informed by preachers who have the scriptures the scriptures are this thing this is called scriptures this is a scripture this is not the word scriptures are the papers but the word is in there for you to get the word from the scriptures you must have revelation for you to read and understand the Holy Spirit must be upon you even Jesus could not read without the Holy Spirit coming upon you even Jesus forget about somebody else hmm? and when I talk about the Holy Spirit I don't talk about you being filled with the Spirit at the beginning in speaking in tongues. There's a grace that God releases on His people. Especially when God sends a man. There's an anointing, specific anointing that is put on that person. That causes revelation when you study the scriptures. So when people do not understand the word but all they have is to me badisha biblia ngapi umekuwa na babio ngapi so far from the time you were born ngapi how many bibles have you had mabadilisha ngapi you know we can change as many bibles with the little knowledge for the last 20 30 years so when i talk about the class like this that people sit and learn i'm not talking about any class that somebody begins because the teaching like this is happening in only so many churches but is healing happening yes. until this come to a point you know when you were studying the bible college the one of the teenage classes they say don't promise people healing. God will heal people when he wants. And if that is a lie. I refused. Teenage course 4 when we were doing that. I told that teacher, no, let's talk. <laughs> because in my meeting, people get healed. You tell me don't promise healing because you don't know if they don't get healed. I know they will get healed. They say, Sasa kama mungu, kama hawata pona tutafanya ni? Kama hawata, hawata? Wewe ndiyo kuna shida? Wewe mwenye unasema hawata? Kwa nini wa wafasipone? <laughs> we really, when we go to that course 4 or 3 in Tinet, we really argue with these preachers of the gospel. Even, only, even the classes I do here in the other places. We, they, I, no, 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 no. One was very sick that day. And she says, you cannot, you cannot promise people hit me. He says, if you want to die with your sickness, just die. But for me, I don't put any sickness in my Even me, for me to be free from sickness, I must understand the word of God. I have to. You have to. You have to. You have to. You have to. It's the same way even in this way. 
but to sit down some just to don mars venye tunafanya mars unakalia unafanya 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 paka hiyo this the same way to this as you sit down and the what enters you have no doubt anybody who is sick can get it it doesn't matter what kind of sickness comes your way and that's why first of all we have to create an environment that enables faith to function so that it becomes easy for people to receive the word of god because the next thing you hear as i finish verse 11 and god wrought special miracles by the hands of wow and god wrought special miracles by the hands of paul so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons and the diseases departed from them and the evil spirit went out of them look at that aprons handkerchief from who oh they take it sickness is leaving their body The question is how did that catch and catch even upon catch anointing to him is something that does not have intelligence and catch anointing in him what about you hmm must be a question how does paul activate anointing ways when he prays in tongues when he teaches anointing flows through, through through these two means when he prays for the meeting speaking in tongues you are activating anointing how do you feel after you speak in tongues for around 20 30 minutes you want to you feel like you can take over the world i don't know you but uh, Some of us have to speak in tongues. Sometimes I stand here. You just you have a need to take over there. The anointing is at work. Nothing is impossible to you. Now when the teaching of the word is happening like this, anointing is also at work. It's released. More understanding of this word is happening to everybody. And their ability to access that god said becomes very easy for you who is here faith is created in you as you're here it is happening right now faith is you cannot hear this and false you cannot i mean you cannot the more teaching is happening the more understanding of the word is getting to you the more the the more the anointing is also coming on you not just formation where there is no anointing there is no faith and i repeat that where there is no anointing there is no anointing will unlock for you the scriptures and create faith in you making the things that people say is impossible possible that's why if you come to a meeting like this it doesn't matter what kind of teaching you do anything they say is impossible becomes possible right here. anything you know if you have believed it is possible it is done you don't need to pray it is over after teaching them for 2 years every day the bible says miracles signs and wonders happen so look at now what we are experiencing in marsabit because 
because we are not meeting every day miracle is not is there correlation can I use that word is there <laughs> any relationship between daily preaching and healing yes yes when you give God opportunity to speak to you every day you will see more of his work in your life when you have less time with God you have less manifestation or the things that God could have done in you huh? yes in fact you tell us more of what the devil do, does than what God does because you have more time with I'm not saying with the devil but <laughs> you have more time with people and everything there and you come and tell us how defeated everything is you spend more time with him everything about your life turns around you cannot underrate the power of God that is demonstrated through the teaching of the word of God if you only give him Jesus told Mary she chose what did he say she chose the best thing nobody can pick from her what did he she just to sit and hear your liberty is under the feet of Christ or let me put it this way your liberty is in hearing the word of saying and you must make a choice maybe mwaka yote nitahubiri si february maisha march pia niko hapa april mpaka december i'll be here the whole of this year preaching every day unless we do some meeting out there and i go you cannot sit here the whole of this year and your life remains ita ku release ndio kupata freedom ya kwenda kanisa ngine I'm saying I will give you freedom to go to another church. If you sit here the whole of this year, nothing is happening. You are free to? Yeah, you are free to go. And if you, you know, even if you cho chose not to change, you either change or you leave. You know, that is true. I have not stopped. I will hang on. You cannot sit where God is and to remain the same. And you must choose to be meek or having the ability to be taught. To receive the information that God brings. Even me when I stand here, I don't prepare a lot. Hmm? I was listening to Pastor Lai. He says, you know when you go to school, you are taught how to write something. The introduction, the body, the points, the conclusion. Hey! When I was taught, I'm like, na yiki tu. Maji nikai chini kila siku na unda samon. I walk on a samon in the morning. I sit down. The introduction, the body, the points, the lunch hour. Like this one. How do you write this thing? The Holy Spirit is active and working anytime we are ready for Him. And He can give us the right word for the right time. And the very people that are to hear that. Yeah, I think that is it. When there is continuous teaching of the word of God, healing becomes easy. You don't struggle. I find it very hard to convince people who hardly hear the word of God to believe that God can heal them. They believe in medicine. More than God. Pastor, you find him. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. Thank you for your word.
you pray for the grace to consistently sit under your feet because we will not struggle to believe what you say and if we can believe what you're telling us now that also means we can receive anything that you have for us we give you glory in Jesus name Amen may the grace and the love of God and the fellowship of the spirit is with us now and forevermore Amen.